An arrest in the carjacking case involving a DoorDash driver with his two ch small children inside. The suspect's arrest record now drawing scrutiny. Our KPI X5's Kenny Choi on the arrest, which is sparking a pointed back and forth between the DA and one San Francisco supervisor. Kenny? It is. San Francisco police are still searching for one other suspect in this case. The incident happened on Saturday night right here in the Pacific Heights neighborhood. It turns out that the man that was arrested is already facing multiple charges from last year, including robbery. The two young children in the backseat of this stolen Honda are safe. This latest carjacking, putting lives at risk, is becoming a theme in San Francisco, even in Pacific Heights. People are scared. They are really scared. And people are moving because of this. SFPD arrested Erlin Obani Romero in the Bayview on Tuesday. He's already facing two previous charges of robbery and possession of a stolen vehicle from last year. Prosecutors from the DA's office asked a judge to detain the 25-year-old while awaiting trial in both cases, but were denied. A judge set bail and allowed his release twice, with Romero spending 135 days in jail. We know that crime is a reality. We know that sometimes people who've been arrested will reoffend. Police confirmed the suspect was wearing a GPS ankle monitor at the time of the arrest. They reoffend, they reoffend, they reoffend, and then they commit a crime that's big enough now to prosecute because it's in the spotlight. Supervisor Catherine. Stefani's district includes Pacific Heights. The district attorney is responsible for public safety in this city, and he has to own that. I don't think finger pointing is helpful. We're all working together, or we're supposed to be, to keep San Francisco safe. All I hear is, is the police's fault, is adult probation's fault, is CHP's fault, is parole's fault. He has to take personal responsibility and look at how he can make people safer in the city. I certainly hope that Supervisor Stefani will ensure that my office has the funding we need to get back up to the same staffing levels we had in 2019. Kenny, did the district attorney say anything about how long Romero could be in prison if he is indeed convicted? So according to Bedeen, uh, the charges will be filed later today, mm -hmm. and uh, Romero is uh, scheduled for an appearance in court tomorrow. That hasn't been finalized. That could happen, according to Bedeen. But based on similar cases to this, as well as the charges in this case, Romero could face up to more than 10 years in prison if convicted on all charges. I also spoke to the father of the two young children today. He says that he's not sure how to feel about all of this because the one other, other suspect in this case is still on the lam. Mm -hmm. Ken and Liz.